Hi, I'm John. It's been a while since I've made a video, so hello again. Yeah, we're just here to recap what's happened in Vivaldi this year. A lot has happened. We've added about 20 major features and a lot of small improvements and minor things as well. So we thought it was about time to recap what's happened this year and what we've added to the browser so far. Without a doubt, the biggest thing we've done is release Vivaldi 4.0, which had Vivaldi Translate and betas of Vivaldi Mail, Vivaldi Feed Reader, Calendar, of course. Latest additions, Accordion Tabs, which is a new kind of tab stacking style, Chain Commands, which is super cool, and I love it. So uh, let's get into it. Let's start with Vivaldi Translate. We added it in 4.0. It's powered by our partners at Lingvinex to offer a translation tool built into the desktop and Android browsers, basically meaning you can translate any pages as you browse into your preferred language without sacrificing privacy. Let's see how it works. A translate dialog will pop up when you visit a page that Vivaldi thinks you'd like translated. You can translate a full page from any supported language to the language of your operating system with one click or choose another language from the dropdown or even customize the translation by using these options. Always translate means always translate the current language. Never translate. Never translate the current language. Never translate this site. Offer to translate pages. To translate a page, open the Vivaldi menu and select translate. The mail beta is here. We launched it with Vivaldi 4.0 earlier this year, and basically it puts you in full control of your email, bringing all of your accounts into one place. And the thing that I really enjoy about it is the filters and the flexibility it allows you in organizing your email, your RSS feeds, newsletters, everything, all while holding on to both your privacy and your online freedom. Vivaldi Mail's three panel default layout shows accounts and folders on the left, messages received in the middle, and currently open messages on the right. As with everything in Vivaldi, you can switch to a different layout from settings. For example, switch to a horizontally split layout instead of the default three column layout. This year, we also released Vivaldi Calendar in its beta version, giving a really flexible and deeply integrated way to manage events inside your browser. And why this matters is you can decide whether you want to have your events and the details of what you're doing shared with an external company using web calendars, or if you want to have it private to your machine and for your eyes only. So there's a lot of flexibility in Vivaldi Calendar. What's unique in our calendar is that you can see all the data you need in every view. You can choose from the following three layouts. The minimal view only shows you the event title. The full view shows you all the event data in the main view. The compact view gives you the best of both worlds, putting a cap on the text shown in the event. We allow you to zoom in or out of your data for the best overview of events with the fewest clicks. Day and week views show data by the hour, while the multi-week and month views are more compressed and show events one after another that day. In the year view, each day shows the events for that day. The agenda view shows six weeks worth of events in a list grouped by date. Vivaldi Feed Reader is a pretty unique feature amongst browsers. We released it at the same time as Vivaldi Mail and Calendar because it's, it's kind of integrated into the Vivaldi Mail client, which is actually pretty cool. The Feed Reader in Vivaldi allows you to build up your own feed of content from the sources you trust and can keep it completely private. We don't track anything about what you're engaging with and what you're clicking on, what sources you're reading. We have no interest in that. The other cool thing about the Feed Reader is that it allows you to subscribe to YouTube channels and podcasts as well. But with YouTube in particular, it just saves you a visit to YouTube Again, you're avoiding the algorithms and being manipulated by their recommendation engine and all the trackers that are happening there and what have you. So you get your own private feed of your favorite channels from YouTube as well. In one of our latest updates, we released accordion tabs and command chains. Now you can choose between three different tab stack styles, compact, accordion, or two level tab stacks. With the accordion style, tab groups can be expanded or minimized inside the tab bar itself. So it, helps you keep things really tidy and uncluttered in the tab bar. Command chains let you create your own sort of macros of commands within Vivaldi. So you can choose from over 200 different commands in the browser and build up your own sequence that you want to execute. And how you execute them is by assigning a custom shortcut or by assigning a mouse gesture, or you can use the quick commands menu and search for the name of your new chain that you've created. So it's really powerful and really flexible and you can do a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and you learned something about Vivaldi. If you have any questions, just drop us a comment, get in touch. We're more than happy to ask. Check it out.